So, as always, Twitch is telling me that the connection's unstable. And, okay, OBS was like, it's perfect, it's green, and then now OBS is like, it's unstable. So, whatever, I'm recording it, as I usually do. And we'll just wait for Twitch to catch up, I'm just gonna start streaming. So... I'm just double-checking, yes, it is recording, okay. So as usual, my voice is still waking up, but that's okay. Alrighty, so I believe it is a new day with new questing to be done. So let's see... Quests. So, as always, if we have seeds and plants, drop them off. The noble, I believe today the noble is in the city to talk to. As always, send people to Dana. Sparkles had something. We have been tasked with learning more about Sparkles' elusive previous life. Maybe the Guild Fairs office can help. Taya wants us to find Valentine O'Neill, the perf performer from her world, and drag him to the Guild House. We have been given- oh yeah, and as always, the crystals. So, first we'll go to the city. I remember the noble quest was going to give us a lot of money. Receptionist can tell us about sparkles first. <clears throat> oh boy, my voice is still waking up. The usual receptionist is skimming through a thin tome with a defeated look on her face. Hi there. Five girls, one ghost. How can I help you? We are looking for the historical records of the previous mob in guild. I see. A moment, please. She goes in the back room. She's feeling helpful today. Do not disregard the hardships of office workers. That gave me a scare. I was not disregarding her. Don't mind her. She just wanted to say something. Shouldn't you be working? I'm taking a break. Already? They sure seem lively. How do they keep bickering like that? It must be a skill. Personally, instead of bickering, I prefer f the receptionist is back. <clears throat> oh boy, my throat. <laughs> here you are. I can't let you bring this home, so please consult it here. I was right in the mic when I cleared my throat. I hope it wasn't that jarring. <laughs> I open the book towards the end and see our portraits and information. Wait, Reniel, you're allergic to seafood? Yeah, I am. So that's why you never eat fish. And Sunny, your measurements. I'll keep them private, but wow. Boob witch, ever hear of privacy? <laughs> Oops. I browse the pages until I see the portraits of the previous guild. The ink has faded. It says there that the guild officially closed 20 years ago. It must have been operating under the table for quite some time. Yes, you did not clean 20 years of dust that evening. Sunny taps her finger on a portrait. It's a man with long hair and a bright smile. His name is scratched out and unreadable. Oh, shoot, that was Vera's voice. I don't know why I just switched to very much not Vera's voice. Sunny taps her finger on a portrait. It's a man with long hair and a bright smile. His name is scratched out and unreadable. Doesn't he look familiar? You're right. That's Tam's brother. I point at the spunky looking woman next to him. That must be Tam. The face paint made her look like a warrior princess, fierce and utterly irresistible. Let's ask him about the old guild. Sunny turns toward the receptionist. Is it possible for us to peruse the records of charm wizards and incubi as well? I'm really sorry, but my answer hasn't changed. Ow. However, we have received several reports of a handsome men in the stout. What kind of reports? Many women hoped we could help them brew a love potion or similar concoction. Someone is going a bit wild with his charm. I should teach him a lesson. 
Oh, I want to see this. <laughs> okay, so I guess our next clue is go to the stout. But, can you tell us about Sparkles too? Or was that, wait. Was that like knocking two birds with one stone? I assume that was following the lead. Oh no, that would have been the Sparkles lead. And then the, the actor guy. I think it's a, what is that one again? Hold on. Okay. Oh, so the stout is probably where this guy is. And I guess by nature of reading the book, we've potentially gotten a little information on Sparkles. Okay, so I guess that one conversation did both. Ask Tam or her brother about the Moffin Guild. And find Valentine and the stout. Okay, cool. I thought it would be two conversations for those two quests. Let's find that noble. He should be just outside. I could have sworn we found him around here last time. Let's run around. That's not him. Interesting. I could have sworn he was by the water. I assume he'll have like a little exclamation mark above his head. Interesting. Okay. <coughs> oh, there he is. Was he there last time? I forgot what voice I gave him. You the five girls, one ghost. My boss hired you for a bit of an unconventional job. Here are the instructions. Wait a second. Sorry, babe, I'm not allowed to discuss the details. The man ran away while I was opening the envelope with the instructions. He looked incredibly shady. I have a bad feeling about this. Bring me the girl in red that is often seen at the open theater, the aspiring actress in rags. I have enough money to make this worthy of your attention. Deliver her alive under the Lotus Bridge at 11 to collect your reward. You can bind her, but leave no marks. Okay, now this explains why it pays a ridiculous amount. The girl in red, the aspiring actress, is he like some, like, intense fan or something. Interesting. Is this a kidnapping request? How vile. It's absolutely deplorable. We must do something to catch whoever wrote this letter. Let's inform the town's guard. Good idea. Okay. Where's the town guard? I think we're this way. Are we speaking, spoken to these guys? Wow, it's a big inn. Do you think we can afford it? I hope so. <laughs> yes, this is where the town's going. Excuse me, sir. I think you should know about this. I see. Unfortunately, there is nothing the town's guard can do about it. No crime has been committed yet. That was it. That was it, what? Okay. Oh, wait, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I keep forgetting spacebar doesn't progress things, it just turns off the sound, or not the sound, it turns off the dialogue, I guess if you want to take a picture or a screenshot. But, now, if we were to, say, stumble upon this individual clearly kidnapping the woman, then we could do something. You want us to trick the man? Corner him. Have him admit to his intentions. I'll make sure to have more men patrol the Lotus Bridge around 11. I see. Thank you. Not the outcome I was expecting, but still better than nothing. His hands are tied, unfortunately. Ours aren't. So what should we do? I think we should talk to the lady. Oh? We should probably... 
tell her about the letter. That seems like a good course of action. Let's do that. Uh, won't that scare her? I assume you want to ask her to play along. Correct. She will be bait. She will. We will. We will, rather. Act as her bodyguard. Watch from afar. How can we watch from afar when the dude told us to bring her? Unless we just, like, leave her and walk away? I don't know. I feel like the guy's expecting us. So act as bodyguards? She won't have anything to fear if we're with her. But what if she doesn't want to play along? I wouldn't blame her for keeping herself safe. Sunny has a point. To convince her, I should. Charm her. I feel like as much as Vera's like a charm witch, there are many times where she doesn't like using charm if she can help it, so. In character, it also just seems like the better course of action. We'll tell her about the town's guard. Right. They are going to be around to catch the noble and his associate. I'll make sure to be her shield in case they are too slow. Excellent. Let's get to work. Wait, do we just randomly have her? Was that the entire quest? Wait, what? Well, that's taken care of. What? That, that was the entire quest. I'm kind of disappointed. I thought there was going to be a lot more action. Ay, ay, ay. I'm glad everything worked out in the end. The town's guard told me that the noble had other suspicious associates. They were all arrested, right? Absolutely. Here's our reward. Nice. Well, it's a smaller reward than what the noble said it would be, but we got something. Nothing beats the feeling of having saved a lovely maiden from a cruel fate. Cool, that was... Anticlimactic, but we got that quest out of the way. Oh boy. <laughs> that was kind of funny how they just rushed through it. Alrighty. Um, let's go to Ma then and talk to Tam and her husband. Alrighty. I look around, but Tam is not in her shop. How strange. She's usually around. Maybe she's home? We could pay her a visit. She lives in the nice house next to the East End Bridge. Alright. Next to the Eastern Bridge. Oh, he has the... the what's it gonna call it? The... What do you call it? Trivia. Hey, Vera! Wanna have another quiz show down with me? Okay, so interestingly, I... I'm trying to remember what happened. I think my second recording that's up on YouTube, like when I first actually streamed it, I forgot to record it and like Twitch just garbled the video file. So I replayed it or something like that. I, I replayed it, but I don't think I posted what I replayed. No, I think what's happened was, I think I posted what I did for the second stream that's on YouTube. Like I did that but then I didn't save at the end. That's what it was. So I had to rush through that section of the game and then save for the following stream. So the first time I took this quiz, I got a couple questions wrong. I forgot what the reward was. It's whatever's in the stream on YouTube. But then since I didn't save, I played through it again and I actually got everything right. And I have like this rosary necklace item that I got for getting everything right. So it's just like a random thing I thought I should point out. So I, I hope I get everything right. I guess I'll get a better item, but I can show you guys in the inventory afterwards that rosary I got when I had to rush through and save afterwards. 10 seconds for trivia. Okay, you're on. What's your secret for looking good? Restful sleep or maybe confidence. What's the name of the strange glowy device Taya received? A tablet. What's the name of Reniel's defensive stance? Shoot, I want to say Bastion. What was the name of Celia's old massage parlor? Left of the body? 
love ritual. Oh. oh, come on. Five girls, one girls just ranked eighth. Oh, come on. What is the watchtower at the border called? Shoes of the Stone. Yes. The Kingdom of Ostmar shares a border with. I don't remember. <laughs> Ooh, that was quite generous. Okay, so I'll show you guys. I don't think anyone's using it. Would it be in here? Maybe someone's using it. Let's see. Oh, or would it be under equipment? I want to show you guys because I just thought it was interesting. I don't think anyone's using it though. How do I see the unequipped? Things. Equipment. I swear, did I sell it? I don't know if I sold Maybe I sold it because I didn't need it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Or maybe it's under offense. But nope, it's not that. Oh, here it is. Praying necklace. No, wait, that was from a quest. Was it? Hold on. I thought it was that. I don't even remember anymore. Was it? It wasn't the headband, was it? I thought it was the praying necklace, but I think we got that from one of the earlier quests when we told the guy to like follow his love instead of forcing himself into the church because he clearly wanted to marry this lady. I don't know. Maybe it was an armlet. Whatever. If you're curious to see the second stream when I did the trivia. Whatever item I got was not the one that I ultimately have right now because I had to replay that section. <laughs> All right. It's not, I think they said it was next to the bridge, but that's our house. That's Tam's house, there it is. Tom doesn't seem to be home. Who's here? Oh, Lassies. Hey there. It's always a pleasure to see you. Oh, <laughs> right, likewise. He was in the old Marvin Guild as well, right? If we can't find Tam, we might as well ask him. You want to ask me about the old guild? Yes, we saw the records at the affairs office. You and Tam looked badass. Not like you don't... Ah, uh, not like you don't look badass now, of course. You had a stellar track record. What happened? Meet me at the Northwood Cemetery, in front of the mausoleum. I have a bad feeling about this. Is there anything to inspect? Wait! I wanted to see if they have any bookshelves. No, they don't. Okay. Alright, never mind then. Where is the cemetery by the mausoleum? Oh, the mausoleum. I think that's on our map. How's our guard doing? Captain's still not feeling great. Broken heart, I was told. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. So the mausoleum and the stout. Oh, oops. Need to go to this thing. Let's see. The stout? How do we get to the stout? We haven't gone there yet. Well, I guess the mausoleum for now. Sienna looks like it would be next to the stout. I guess we can go to Sienna after this. Hey, need anything done? I can be your bodyguard, I can cook, clean, and do laundry as well. My dear, are you alright? <laughs> no. This armor is the only possession I have left. I'm trying to get a job, any job, but... Let me tell you about Rosedale. Seems too good to be true. Don't worry, it's true. Here's some money. Use it to reach Rosedale. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, poor guy. All right. Do I just walk up to the... We question its reasons for being here. We think it should be on its way. Okay. Thanks for calling me an it. 
Oh, sorry, we've reached mass capacity. Come another day. <clears throat> Where's our uh, Tam's husband? Could have sworn he said the mausoleum. <clears throat> sorry, the arena is currently full. Come another day. Oh, oh my god, I thought he said to come visit him here. Let's see. Uh, I know not guaranteed. Oh, cemetery. I read cemetery and my head converted that to mausoleum because they're both fancy words. Wow, okay, the Northwood Cemetery. Because, you know, you fight in cemeteries. Alright. Uh, I got so distracted. Was it Northwood Cemetery? What cemetery was it? Ay, ay, ay. Northwood Cemetery, okay. I don't think I realized Northwood had a cemetery. I don't know if it's in the Rose Garden? Or is it... Wait, there's like this one... Like... Grave-looking thing. But I don't think this is the cemetery. Oh, thanks for this, I needed that. To reach the stout, I need to go all the way to Brightway and take the ferry. It's ridiculous! Cool, now I know how to get to the stout. Brightway Ferry. But that's not the... <laughs> Let's look at... Wait, hold on. There's something over here. I don't think... This is the... Breeding grounds. Totally forgot. That's not the farmlands, is it? Wait, the breeding grounds is where the cemetery is? Why are they called the breeding grounds? Oh, so I see him there, but I just want to see what's up here. Oh, I think that's what's on quarantine. It's off limits for your own safety. I think it's the quarantine area. I just want to see if there's any herbs before we talk to him. Nice. Okay. I'm just curious what the guard has to say. I like talking to NPCs. Okay, he doesn't have anything to say. Okay, everything's... Everyone's doing their own thing, which makes sense in a cemetery, but... There's also something just a little creepy about NPCs not moving or reacting at all. I hope. Not Tan's brother, husband. I think I just said brother, but I meant husband. Take this. You received a mausoleum key. Mausoleum. Okay, at some point... Okay, at some point mausoleum must have come up and I thought Colosseum. And I've been saying mausoleum, but I meant Colosseum. Oh my god, all these words. English, why are you so... Uh, reach the second floor underground. Take a look for yourself there. Okay. In my defense, mausoleum and Colosseum are very similar words. Okay. There we go. There's a spider thing. Underground tunnels, just as I suspected. You regularly think about this place? Hush. Let's find a way to reach the lower level. Is that a rat? That's what I want to see what this is. Light feather, can I bite you? I'm curious. Oh wow, okay, I can. Be careful. What? Okay, that's creepy. I thought it was a rat. Cool, creepy, all right. Uh, I hope there's not a lot of fun. Them. Special oh, moves. Oh, you're strong. Dude. Why are they strong? Dude, why do you get to attack twice? Oh, yeah. Healing restores the party's HP. <coughs> Here, take this. Alright. Kill it. Yeah. Oh, Almost. Sure. Why is it still alive? Uh -huh. Running out of juice. Leave it alone. 
Okay, thank you. Uh... No, no, my god. I actually want to heal this time. I like gathering, but Vera needs heals. Okay, and... Revenge. Oh, I can only do one. Okay. Take out... What? I thought it would take out this guy. Take him out. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> no, our tank is dizzy. Oh, I only have a few left of that. Okay, let's do four. No, wait, let's just do her attack one. Works on multiple on one target. Let's see, what would we do? Fire or water? Let's do fire. This is going to hurt. And we'll use you to heal. Oh, dear. <laughs> wake up. Renia, wake up! <clears throat> oh shoot, no! I should have healed Sunny, but I was too distracted by Renia. <laughs> I should have charged up. Oh boy, yeah, I should have charged up. Should have charged up. Let's see if I do something better. Oh no! Are you in a bind? <laughs> Wow. Okay. Um, fine, let's gather because I'll I'm use sure Vera to something. heal. Let's charge you. And Vera will heal. <clears throat> nice. Oh my god, Vera. Vera's so squishy. Okay, cool. I was just curious. I'm like, oh, it looks like a tiny little rat. If I fight it, it will probably be cute and easy. I was neither cute nor easy. Okay. Woohoo! I learned reckless swings. Nice. Let me up my brightness on my side because it is dark in here. Cool, look, it looks so cute and tiny. Why? Don't you dare run into me. I just want- no, I just want the herb thing. Thank you. Oh shoot, wait. The inscription says coffins will be placed back into the wall one hour before closing time. Hmm. I have the feeling we should do something with this information. There are coffins missing, but how do we put them back? No, 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 no. Oh my god, dude. So there's two missing. There's one missing here. The spider thing. Can you stop? No, no, no! <laughs> I don't know how to lift the coffins. I don't know if I hit enter extra, did I? I thought I did. <sighs> Maybe I have to fight that thing. Fine. I'll Want to fight have you. some fun? I mean, I don't see anything else I can do, so... <clears throat> Maybe I have to fight it and then I can move things? Okay, let's target one at a time. Unless, hold on, what else do I have? Reduces damage for the party. I don't know, just for one person. Next two attacks. Oh, I forgot I had that. And the sleep one. I can afford more health. And multiple targets. We'll do. I assume fire is just a good one. Big flaming flames. Nice. Leave Renio alone. Man, now I can't. 
can't attack with her. Mm. Let's see. Can I put them to <laughs> Nice. Run it out like a. Since they're asleep, I can afford to more slowly heal the party. <coughs> yes! You, oh, you lost your charge! I want to charge her up. It's just going to be easier that way. You. I can finally attack. Yeah. Alrighty. Let's... How is it still alive? Okay, just get rid of it. <laughs> um, let's see, works on one target. Since we have so much sticky goo, let's see if water does much. What a clever breed. Okay, that actually was pretty good. one's new. Two to five powerful slashes against a random enemy. Careful, this skill leaves you vulnerable afterwards. Well, let's test it out. I'm ready. Nice. I think we can... I don't know, I feel like I can take him out. I don't want him to knock out Reniel and then she doesn't level up with us. I think we can do it. Sean. Okay, that was a close one. I want Reniel to get XP with us. Okay, so at least it's out of the way now so we can concentrate. Oh, there's three missing. There's one missing over here. How do we move the coffins up? Do we have to go out and ask Tans- Oh, there's a switch on the side of the casket. Why does only that one have it? Something opened. I'm guessing it's further up, because I don't see anything opened here. There it is. Cool, there's more of those things. Also, I just upped the volume and realized how creepy the music was. I don't want to fight them again, but I want to see if I can read that thing. Fine, I'll fight you. <clears throat> I am a slice of you that's often found along a wall or on the ground. A slice of you? What does that mean? A s like hair? Like when you get a haircut? I am a slice of you that's often found along a wall or on the ground. Is it talking about a human body or something else? A slice found on the wall or a ground? Oh, come on. You can use the keyboard or type in the answer to when I'm done. A slice of you. I don't know if they mean you like a body. I don't know. Is it hair? Let me try it again. I am... A slice of you that's often found along a wall or on the ground. Oh, and like a piece of paper? Like, I, I would think you, meaning like you, you human being person. A slice of me. Is it like metaphorically, like spiritually, a slice of me? Often found on the wall or on a ground spit. That's not a slice, though. I am a slice of you. Maybe as I go through the dungeon, what, whatever, the mausoleum, maybe 
I'll find the answer. A slice of you that's often found along a wall or on the ground. Hmm. I don't think it's spit. I really don't think it's spit. <laughs> oh, come on. I thought it was going to go around you. Oh, but it has cute little spiders this time. That's actually kind of cute. Uh, can we get rid of these guys quickly? Because they're tiny. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, I hope we can use Sunny before they attack because Sunny should heal Vinio. Can we just take these guys out? Oh wow, that was a strong one. Oh god. Okay. He already helped me. Okay. Ooh. Wow, that was really strong. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right. The spiders are so cute. I almost feel bad that they actually look dead. Like, there are some other enemies where it's like, maybe they're passed out, but those spiders <laughs> look kind of dead. And they're so cute. Why is it so strong? Mana shield. I hope there's not like a big boss at the end because I'm using a lot of MP. Alrighty. Works on one target. The water was actually really effective last time. Okay, we're near the end. I think we can afford the rocks. Nice. We got a sharp tooth. That's not creepy. Oh wow, fighting that made this thing go away? Oh, nice. Wow, we got more sharp teeth. Someone's at my door. Alright, be right back. Okay, we're back. Just got a delivery at the door. Ooh, I should have gone to the... I should have gone to this screen while I walked away. Fortunately, that spider didn't come up to me. And it's not like it would kill me while I'm not fighting, because there's the pauses in between. But that would have been unsettling if I walked away only to come back to those... How does it see me? I'm on the other side of a wall. Stuck. Okay. Don't touch me, don't touch me. I just want this thing. Thank you. Okay. I have felt watched ever since we stepped down here. I give a signal to the others, and they nod. Didn't Sparkles mention something about a quest in here? Perhaps the caretaker wanted us to free the tunnels from the spiders. Or perhaps a naughty succubus is doing something she shouldn't be. Shoot, I forgot what her voice was like. About time you showed up. Just as I thought, it's Reyna. What is she doing here? Were you waiting for us? Sort of. Nah. No. What does that mean? No. What did I tell you last time, sweetie? Confidence. Let me try again. She clears her throat. <clears throat> you fell right into my trap. It was I, Reyna, who summoned you here. A bit too theatrical, but that's the spirit. Did she summon us here? 
I don't know what she's talking about. We're here because of Sparkles and the previous guild. Girls. We're here to stop you, fiend. <laughs> I think Vera just wants to play this rivalry up with the succubus. But we don't even know what she's doing here. I hope you are more prepared than last time. I won't hold back. Now she's getting into her role. Marvelous. We better put on those amulets we crafted. I don't want to be useless again. Excellent. I will hover here menacingly until you are ready. I am confused. Why are you not attacking us while we're getting ready? That's... Um... Sunny dear, her mind is dark and twisted. Who knows what sort of tricks she is preparing while we procrastinate? Aha! Indeed! She's trying so hard. All right. Much better. Um, okay. I'm guessing Reniel doesn't already have the thingamajig that helps. Okay, no, she is wearing it. That protects against charm. I don't know if anyone else has an item they can use. It gives you heal. Oh, I totally forgot an item gives her heal. Increases defense. Let's see. Equipped. What does optimize do? Ooh. Shoot. Didn't want to do that. What does that do? Oh. Cool. Okay. So I guess it just gives the best items that we have for them. Is skill... Okay, let's see here. Restores mana. Ooh. Restores mana. Allows Sunny to throw heavier rocks that have even less chance to hit, but always crits. Oh my god, I just realized that's a reference to David and Goliath. <laughs> cool. Restores health. Protects against charm. Okay, let me just see what else. I think that's what we want. It's not like we're gonna beat the succubus by throwing rocks. And I think Vera's automatically immune. We only had one more charm item anyway. So, <clears throat> oh, and we're gonna save just in case. Let's see, save. I'm gonna make a new save because I kind of, if I remember to, I kind of want to go back and do the trivia and see what would happen if I get it all right. So we're at save 13 now. All right. Fight Serena. Show me your darkest desires and I will turn them into your demise. Where is that coming from? It's a good line. I think I will steal it. I have many questions. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh man, I remember the first time fighting the succubus. It was like basically the first boss fight in the game. I think that was a different stream. I confused the streams. There was the one stream I had to replay because I didn't save. There was one stream I forgot to record it and like the file got corrupted on Twitch so I had to replay it. And I think that was one with the succubus because I got so frustrated the first time I fought the succubus. And um, part of me was like, I'm glad that didn't record because, wow, I got so frustrated. <laughs> I didn't realize there were like these kind of boss fights in the game. All right, whose turn is it? Yeah, I guess I'll try this one. It goes to her three times. Wow, that hardly did anything. No. She just say sweet dreams of me. All right. Um, let's see. What would be good against a succubus? Let's try water first. We only need this just for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow, that was strong. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, she has two more turns of sleep. Also, I'm guessing Reyna did something to take away the MP, because Vera's MP is very low right now. Um, let's see if we can't potentially stun her. <laughs> Nope. Oh, come on. I was hoping maybe their charm protected them, because Vera resisted last time. Let's see, I wonder if this might be effective on it. Oh, no. Oh, you want a bond? Not really. Hmm. Yeah, I think when she whispers, she takes away MP. Wow, okay. That Stun is random, so let's just see. Maybe. Let's see. Can we put you to sleep if you put us to sleep? Oh, come on. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I needed Sunny to heal. Oh boy. Restore the party HP, even though Renial's fine. Help. Was needed. Ooh, she woke up. Okay. Oh, well, I'm out of that. Does MP recover over time? I totally forgot. I think you need to sleep in a bed or wait the oh my god. Wait the next day for MP. Of me. Feel. Ready, I'll wake up. Let's see. I, ooh, I totally forgot. I sold all my water because we wanted all those salts for that quest with the man-eating bugs. Cool, okay. At least I can still enchant. attacker right now. Okay, please don't fall asleep. I want to charge you up. Please. <laughs> more than halfway. Come on. No! Dude. Okay. Get her. Get her. because you don't have much MP left. Dude, I thought it was Sunny's turn. What the frick? You better let me get Sunny's turn. Thank you. Sheesh. We need Sunny. Aye, aye, aye. This will help. Stop weaponizing your lust. My goodness. Dude, why you? Oh, oh my God! Why did every single attack go to Vera? I need you to charge up. You know, at this point, just use a potion. Wow, that hardly did anything. 
Okay, whew, Cornelia gets to keep her charge. You better keep it afterwards. Just use a potion. Should stop charging up Reniel because she keeps using <laughs> Dude! Of me. Just attack her. Okay, I feel like the strategy right now is stay alive so that Reniel can attack. <laughs> Sunny, so that Sunny can throw a flask. Dude, why did Sunny not get a turn? Can you? Oh my god, can you leave her alone? Ay, ay, ay. Why does she keep attacking one person like three times in a row? Just spread the love, come on. Better give Vera a chance so we can do something. Thank you. You know what? Is it better off just letting Sunny die? Not die. Faint. Because we have our smelling salts. Let's just let her faint and then revive her. Of me. <laughs> nice. I like how Reniel seems to be dodging more often recently. I should just attack. I think I'm better off letting Sunny faint and reviving her. And revive her at the last second so she gets XP. Well, everyone else has good health. So. Come on. Oh my god, dude. Who? Nice. Thank goodness we get to use her. Oh boy, that is our last matted fur. Cool. Okay. Good job, Renia. <laughs> okay, it's our turn. Thank you. Oh boy. Oh, I should have used her new special move. Oh, she did it. I thought we needed to use a special move. Oh boy. Fleshy mushroom was an item attained. That is, I believe, a new one. Oh boy. Sunny points a finger at Reina. Let me get this straight. You snuck in here, attempted and failed to lure us. Yet, when we're finally here, you let us take our time. You used your full power, but it seems you wanted us to win. Wonderful analysis, dear. You've been acting strange as well, Vera. The poor thing has confidence issues. I'm trying to help her. That line about darkest desires was very effective. Oh, thank you. I'm definitely stealing it. <laughs> anyway, yes! Yes, you are correct. I wanted you to stop me. Your contract must order you to always give it your all during fights. Precisely. So you were waiting all alone in this dark, scary place so we could rescue you? It must be serious. What were you up to? Uh... Let us help you! Well, we shouldn't offer help without knowing what we're about to do. And we really shouldn't push her. You... Shouldn't? You deserve to be treated right. If you don't feel like telling us, we'll respect your wishes. Reverse psychology. Really? Look, I... I want to tell you, but it's... She takes a deep breath. 
I was told to make new monsters. Monsters? You can make them? It was fun to make the farmers sleep and entertain their dirty dreams. That's what succubi are about. And kidnapping that cat girl. I didn't mind it that much. I wasn't supposed to hurt her. But the plague in Florel. That was your doing? I didn't know. I didn't know it would kill so many people. I just had to empty a bottle in their water source. I swear, I didn't know it would do that. Big caskets, small caskets, all around us. The ones in this chamber are covered by dust, but the ones at the entrance were still wet from the tears of the survivors. And this! Defiling the very people that died because of me. It's too much. Even if I am a demon. Of course. When a decomposing body merges with an offering, it becomes a monster. I don't want to ask how she knows that. What do we do now? You still can't tell us who your employer is, correct? I can't. Hey, we helped the people of Florel by rescuing the plague doctor that was working on the cure. Not all is lost. Wait, did we save the plague doctor? I'm trying to remember that. We helped the people of Florel by rescuing the plague doctor that was working on a cure. I don't remember that, but if I see him again, I'll probably recognize him. Or her. I really don't remember who that was. I'm glad that Reniel can still look at the bright side of life. So many died, and the city is still under quarantine. We merely prevented the worst case scenario. Reina, you should get out of that contract. You showed us that you're better than that. It's not that easy. Will your master punish you? After today's failure? Probably. I don't really want to go. You don't have to... Thank you. She disappears in a puff of smoke. Well, that just happened. I heard quite the commotion. What's going on? It's Tam's brother. I exchange a look with the others. We should keep Reyna's assignment to ourselves. I must uh, smile. We had a rendezvous with an unannounced guest. Were we not, we dispatched it without problems. Hmm. I assume you didn't take a look around. He points at the inscription on the stone tablet. You should. On the day of the storm, many were lost. Our heroes fell and left behind a ghost in a race against the swarm. I don't know if that's related to the riddle at all. I'm going to read it one more time. On the day of the storm, many were lost. Our heroes fell and left behind a ghost in a race against the swarm. It's a poem. The day of the storm? A tragedy that happened over 20 years ago. I remember it. It happened when I was a child. It was a terrible storm that swept over the coast. Brightway had to be evacuated, and West Area was considered lost. This reminds me of a story. I'm gonna wait for the dialogue first. We were there, you know. Tam and I. Young. Full of hope. We were in charge of the evacuation. Those stubborn fishermen thought they knew better. It's just another storm, they were saying. We were begging them, pleading. Some listened. Some had to be threatened. Some of them stayed. We tried to buy some time, fighting the monsters that were pouring out of the sea. They didn't tell us there would be so many monsters. I saw a girl trip and fall. I saw a mother look back and decide to keep running. The inscription is right. Many fell on that day. Some we failed to convince. Some we failed to rescue. Tim quit the guild the day after the storm. I tried to keep it alive, but I've never been good with people. Every conversation was a reminder of what could have been. I closed it down two years later. Hey, it's reminding me of two stories. One a little darker than the other, but I think it might be worth sharing. But let's finish the conversation. Confiding in us wasn't easy. I'm glad he decided to share his story with us. Thank you. I haven't talked about it in a long time. Do you feel a bit better? Better than when you barged into my sister's house to remind me of it. That's for sure. Huh. Wonder if that's why he was so stern when we first met him. Because he's totally warmed up to us now. He's like, hey, I hid treasure chests in the forest for you guys. 
he gave us the like treehouse and everything. But when we first met him, he's like, fight me and my wolves. <laughs> like, definitely like kind of testing us. We have noticed it ourselves. Being in a guild is not all roses. That is an understatement, after what Reyna told us, just told us. I brought you here to show you the result of our failure. I hope you will do better. I pray you will do better. We will show you that you can count on us. Aren't we forgetting something? You're right. Did the old guild have a third member? A third member? Well, he wasn't really a member, but... I knew it! Sparkles was a guy, huh? I had a hunch. Can you tell us more about him? A small smile breaks on his face. He was the chattiest little thing. Always hungry, always pooping on Tam's cape. <laughs> I don't believe we're talking about the same person. <laughs> Sparkles was my pet cockatiel, not a bloody person. Sparkles is his real name. How did Taya manage to guess it? I still feel guilty about the little fellow. I was in a bad place after the tragedy. Aww. Didn't take care of myself properly. Didn't take care of him either. I throw a glance at the others. Thank you for everything you've told us. Don't mention it. Just visit the Emerald Maze every once in a while and we're even. <laughs> May we know your name? Huh? Tam didn't tell you? I just realized all this time he's just been labeled man. You never introduced yourself. Name's Manny. Man for my friends. <laughs> okay. I'm sure Sparkles wouldn't like to see you sold, Mr. Man. Go give a cuddle to the wolfies. You'll feel better. Huh. <laughs> I think I'll go do that. See you around, lassies. Did you not want to tell Man that Sparkles is still around as a spirit? That would mean telling Sparkles that he used to be a pet cockatiel. What's wrong with it? Well, he seems very excited about discovering who he was. Under the assumption that he would be a person. Oh, right. He had me fooled. He always sounded so human-like. I'm glad he can't poop on Vera's cape. <laughs> hey, nothing changes about the sparkles we know and love. Of course. But should we tell him the truth? If we do, man can see him again. I'm not sure sparkles would be happy to know he used to be a bird. What do you think, Vera? I don't need to make a decision now, but my first instinct is to say that... I mean, in the dialogue, she's like, oh, he's going to be disappointed, but I don't know. I feel bad not telling him. <laughs> like, if we know, I feel like he should know. Sparkles deserves to know who, what he was. The word order doesn't always match the dialogue, but okay. Mm, we could give him a bit of information and see how he reacts before dropping the truth bomb. I think he should know, but not if it hurts him too much. Now, I think we spent enough time here. Okay, story time. So, so Manny Man's story <laughs> reminds me of two stories. Uh, I don't know if I'll share the second one right away. But anyhow, the first one about like the whole storm and like just like natural destruction, Mother Nature destruction and all reminds me. So I went to Japan a couple years ago for like a language school because I'm studying the language. So I studied at a language school for a few months, and there's actually a language exchange where I live in the States, and I met some friends through there who live in Japan. So some of them I still stay in touch with, and when I go out there, we hang out a lot. And two in particular, I suspect one of them is a few years older than me. Like, not significant. Like, I would say no more than 10 years older than me. I would guess she's like at most 10 years older than me, maybe just a few years older. The other one, I couldn't tell. I'm like, maybe she's a couple years, a few years, like not as much older as the other friend. So the one who I think is like within 10 years of me hasn't hinted to her age at all. Because when they asked me how old I was and I told them, they're like, oh, and I'm like, how old are you guys? And they're like, you don't need to know that. <laughs> I really don't think they're that much older than me. <laughs> but the one who's closer in age to me, like her other friend, refused to tell me her age. But one time it came up. So a few years ago, I'm trying to remember what year it might have been, like 2011, I believe. 
There was a really big earthquake that caused a big tsunami. I forgot, is it Fukushima? Is a nuclear power plant that even had a meltdown, so it was in the news a lot. I want to say it was 2011. And my friend, who's closer to age to me, commented, she's like, yeah, when that happened, like, we were in a state of emergency. My high school didn't have their graduation ceremony. I couldn't have my high school graduation ceremony because we were still dealing with that. And that when it dawned on me, I'm like, you're, at most, you're like maybe one, if not two years older than me. Like, we're the same age as far as I'm concerned. We like graduated a year apart from each other. And she, I guess she's really self-conscious of the fact that she thinks she's so much older than me when she's really not. So anyhow, the story about like, the natural disaster in the game reminded me of that. Like, it was a terrible disaster, but there was this weird comedic moment when I realized her dropping that little truth bomb. So anyhow, there's that. I guess I'll briefly share my other story. So, let's heal. So then Tam's husband also mentioned how, like, people... A lot of fishermen were like, oh, it's not a big deal. Like, we don't believe it's as big deal as we should believe it because we don't want to believe it's <laughs> that dangerous that we need to change our behavior. And I had a teacher in high school. Okay, I was not what expecting that, whatever. I can talk and fight. So I had a math teacher in high school who. I forgot if he worked for NASA or he worked for a company that in turn worked for NASA. And I want to say was it the Explorer was the NASA shuttle that exploded upon liftoff, like within just a couple minutes of liftoff. And one of many reasons, like there, are, I don't think you can pinpoint it to one reason, but so Florida had this huge like cold snap like this instead of like a heat wave it was like a cold wave and among other things that was one thing I'm sorry it's hard to tell an important story while doing this but among many things like that affected the rocket like like the binding for like the fuel tanks was kind of under impact from the cold like cold and heat changed the sh shape and expansion of metal and wood wood to a higher extent but metal too and like the rubber and whatever. And NASA had postponed the liftoff for like, I don't know, a week something. But like it had been postponed for so long that I don't know, someone at NASA, I don't think we can blame the entire entity, but the higher ups were like, we need to lift off. We're wasting money. We're wasting resources not lifting off. And some people argue, they're like, it's dangerous, we just gotta bite the bullet, just wait longer. And the higher-ups decided to lift off, even though some people argued against it. So, man's story reminds me of that. Unfortunately, when people are so caught up in what they think is right, on what they think is the best course of action, sometimes they're completely disregarding incredibly vital information because they don't realize the severity of it until it's too late. So anyhow, I always find that- I find that it's such an interesting story, so like not only do I think it's like such an important story to know, I remember my math teacher when he told us that story, he spent an entire class period telling us that story from like beginning to end in like so much detail. And I thought he did it every year. I'm like, oh, this must be like a yearly speech he gives. Because it took an entire class period. And I remember like years after I graduated, I went to an alumni event and I went up to him and I'm like, do you still give that like challenger? I'm sorry if I'm misremembering the name, if it was the challenger explorer. But I'm like, do you still give that speech every year? And he's like, what speech? <laughs> and I told him, like, you spent an entire class once telling us about that story. And he did not remember that he had done that. Like, I guess in his mind, he thought he, like, made a passing comment. But 
For my class in particular, he got really caught up in the story and spent the en oh shoot. Gosh darn it. The entire class period. No, I forgot how to go back with dialogue. I totally didn't see it. Okay, whatever. You guys saw it because <laughs> I'm posting the recording. I'm guessing they're relieved, they're outside. Alright, back to the story. I just wanted to share my stories as it reminded me of those. Kitty, are you there? And there's something you should know. Hmm. I tell her what just happened with Reyna, but don't mention our conversation with man. We're lucky that the failure of the minx decided to kidnap me after all. We're lucky she has a heart, you mean. She's not the most competent demon out there, that helps. Don't be too hard on Reyna. She's getting there. You see, on one hand, I'm stoked. We're going to unravel the conspiracy of the century and the king will be all over us. At the same time, I really wish you wouldn't have to deal with it. Oh, she's worried. Are you not? They just thwarted the creation of monsters. You should be more impressed. Yeah, give us some credit. Finish up today's work and talk to Sparkles once you're done. Will do. Okay. Da -da -da. The creepy NPCs that don't move or say anything. I'm just going to assume that they're all so caught up in praying that they don't even notice we're there. Okay, I think... Let's see. What do we have still? Yes. Keep placing those. Go to the stout. I guess talk to Sparkles. Oh, tell Sparkles the truth. Or a pretty lie. I am curious to talk to the new person we sent to Rosedale. And as always, I want to see what Satsuyama. Okay. Let's talk to Sparkles first. nervous, but I really want to know who- oh, that's Sparkles. I'm a bit nervous, but I really want to know who I was. Wait, okay, does this happen at the end of the day? Because I'm trying to tell you, dude. Okay, I guess at the end of the day we'll tell him, because it's not letting me tell him right now. I forgot if I can teleport. Haha, <laughs> teleport the right way instead of having a across the forest. And then we go to the stout. Shoot, I should have bought items. Whatever. The ferry service is back in full swing. Cool, can you let us on the ferry? How do- I'm trying to get to the stout, dude. Let us on your ferry. Don't break my focus, I'm trying to fish here. Okay, you don't have- <laughs> I just sworn the person in the city, a random person we spoke to, was like, yeah, the fairy from Brightway can take you to the stout. Except he won't let us. <laughs> I don't know, it kind of looks like in Siana we can walk through the forest. Let's see. Alright, let's talk to our buddies first. Five girls, one ghost. Hello, hello. Here's a little something from me. I hope you will find it useful. Come back tomorrow for more. Thank you. I'm looking for fertilizer. Fortifying herbs and sharp teeth. How many do we have of each? Fortifying herbs. Oops. Fortifying herbs. 
Whoa, we have like none of those. Um, shark, we can give her some shark teeth. Okay. Five shark teeth. One thousand clams. We'll give her a little more. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to give her more seeds. I think it's so cute that they're growing these flowers. Let's see, maybe there's a boat. The travel ban to the stout has been lifted. To the highway. The stout is east of here, right? Cool, I was right. Okay, we can go through the forest. To the east of here. Is there a vendor? Just one in part. Oh, I totally forgot about her. Oops. Here's your daily tip. Some enemies resist attacks that cover a wide area. To dispatch them efficiently, bombard them with single target attacks. Come back tomorrow for your next tip. Cool. That was a very good tip. I didn't realize. Nice. Okay. Dispel. You not have water. The one that gives back the fighting powers. Huh. Okay. We're good for now, I think. Are we? What do we have left? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. We definitely should get more potions. Okay. Nope. Nope. I was trying to click on her, not behind her. Okay. All right. Five of each. Oh, we have enough money to have more. I remember at one point, I'm like, seven of each might be a little more comfortable at this point. Wow, I didn't realize we have quite a generous amount of money now. We should go back to that fruit vendor, because I want to beef up. There is beef. Wow, this place is beautiful. It's different from the lush south, that's for sure. Feels a bit sad. <laughs> it is pretty. The Jasper do. Oh my god, is that a kangaroo? What? Oh, I think it's a dragon. <laughs> I totally thought it was a kangaroo. I'm sure we'll fight. What? The birds fight you? What do we have here? Okay, I'm sure we'll come across a dragon again. I want to get through the forest and collect herbs. Wow, why are they so strong? Wow, that was pretty ridiculous. Okay. Uh, let's heal everybody. No, I want to do multiple targets. What a clever breed. the debilitating one. This is what I wanted to do, but I need this should know whatever I have to do. and it 
gave us this little bird back on the ground. Because I saw him fly away earlier. God, the birds. Even the birds attack you in here. I'm thinking about that riddle. I'm still curious about it. Something about a slice of you on the ground in the wall. The stout is upwards, oh, okay. Just want to see what's down here. You're gonna block me? Oh, because of the quarantine. Sorry, but Florel is still off limits. And there's a dragon over there. You probably don't want to go that way. I wonder if there's gonna be more dragons. I'm almost tempted to go back and fight the one we passed. So what's the here? Oh boy! Okay, well, I got my wish. What do we have here? They're not really dragons, they're like dinosaurs. You can do it! Oh, do they have like 4,000 HP? Wow, okay. Well, I got my wish, and I don't know if I... I'm gonna pick up this. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think what I want to do is want to buff us up. Uh, protect from all magical attacks. Man, I still only have one tough leather. Like, it probably raises our defense, but it's only... We only have one. Lower their defense and resistance. Wait, don't I have one that makes us dodge faster? Oh, I forgot. These have like protects from and raises something. Raises strength, raises magic. Raises strength, raises magic. I thought there was one, unless I'm out of the item, I thought there was one that increases your evasion. Item that raises your evasion. Forgot what it was. I think we should focus on one at a time. Three, eight, seven, nine. Wow, they have so much health. <laughs> Particularly weak to that element. Can I go bind again? It's so effective. One well, has a chance to inflict bind. Well, this one, I think it always puts them to sleep. Let's see. Okay, cool. That sucks. <laughs> There's on one target. No! Dude, why did you both go to Vera? I feel like we should bring her back first. Oh, 
I need the matted fur. Shoot. Well, that sucks. Okay. Ooh, that sucks. Okay. Well, let's do the dehabilitating because that worked pretty well. Lower defense and resistance. There is our healer now. Charge you up. All these salts. This is a good thing I did. Yeah, let's see if maybe we can stop it. <laughs> what? Dude, that is so not fair. Wow, we are actually running out of salts. Surprisingly effective against them. I made this just for you. Oh boy, that was terrible. Cool. Okay, I don't want to fight the dragons. Learn that. Whoa, a smite jewel. A sharp tooth. What does this say? The sign reads: 100 soldiers hid in this cave during the Ost. Belegian War. Their ambush delayed the enemy's advance by one week. Cool, we found a historical cave and a gem. Oh boy. That was tough. Okay. Let's avoid those guys. I forgot I can run from enemies, but I suspect I wouldn't have been able to run from that guy. Steps. What an imposing presence. The fortified tower exudes a severe aura. And yet, isn't that guardsman sleeping? The patrols on the outside of the stout are only for appearances. An unlawful paradise awaits us inside. That's just like a lady with an iron will, so sweet and ripe when she lets you in. Are we gonna get robbed? Yes, if we end up at the casino. We simply must visit it. <laughs> yes, that's where we can put our stone. It's crystal time. Don't mind my partner. 
he celebrated the quarantine's end a bit too hard. How cool, the quarantine's ending soon. Nice. Welcome. That's all you have to say to us, okay. Look at all that stuff. Dear, I'm looking at the price tags. I'm guessing you say the same thing. We're a clinic, not an inn. Speaking of, I want to rest somewhere soon. Welcome. Are you on the look for items? Oh, yes I am. Magic water, that's what I wanted. We don't use it very often, but... And... Find a spell and the salts. Wow, we use so many salts. Four, five, six, seven. Yes, okay. What? What? There's different salts. So they're like better than regular salts. Well, oh no, I need that too. Okay. Didn't know there were better salts out there. Take a look at my wares. Cheeky mage. Cheeky warrior. Cheeky luck. Bouncer's fist. <laughs> the cost of resistance. Ooh. I like that. Gives you the chance to heal the damage taken over the next few turns. Makes you less likely to be slept or bound. Huh. These are all interesting. I'm gonna lose all my money if I shop right now, though. <laughs> Careful about the shops here. Their wares have a markup. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I can buy that cheaper somewhere else. All these spices, yet no salt. You hungry? Already here when you are. Cool. The menu reads, bread with goat- oh, that actually sounds really good. <laughs> bread with goat cheese and nuts. Mushroom soup. Raptor steak with spring onion. This public library initiative is neat. Too bad I can't read. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's a, is that a quest board or just a board. The board reads B1, F3, F4, residential floors. F1, you are here. F5, dreamland, casino. Why are they not all F? Why is there one B1? B1... Okay. I feel like there's not really an order to... Oops. Fabric, tailoring, acupuncture. We have it all. Cool. I'm not sure if I trust your acupuncture. <laughs> Customer? Sorry, I'm busy. Too busy. Need carpenting work done? I'm your man. Is that acupuncture? There's just a guard like lying on the ground. Okay, let's explore. The stout. Incredible sleep. This is such a big building. It looks like she's trying to get our attention. A beautiful woman like her has my attention without even trying. You look capable, unlike the slackers here that pretend to be soldiers. Are you in need of capable hands? I am. You see, a room on this floor was recently vacated, and I decided to turn it into an inn. How many beds does it have? Well, only one. That's not much of an inn yet, then. How can we help you? I would like you to take a nap in the room. That's it. That's it. Easy, right? Where's the catch? Why do you need someone capable to sleep in there? The room is the smallest one accessible on this floor. You can't miss it. I suppose we could try and see if we wake up alive. Cool, that sounds sketchy. She didn't answer Reniel's question. The room is the smallest one accessible on this floor. You can't miss it. Whoa, there's a lot on this floor. 
Although we can't go that way, it seems. I love the detail to this building. Like, just this floor alone is so detailed. I wonder what's under the stout. It was a military base, after all. I'm guessing we can't go in there. It's, like, close. Cool. <laughs> Three girls, one bed. This will be cozy. She just want us to clear out the monster in the room. I'll give the innkeeper a piece of my mind once we're done. I think it's not it's always nice to try. To try. Malicious <laughs> pot. <laughs> oh, it's actually really strong. Wow. That's so. Uh, I should, after this, like, go to Mothin just to get more fur so I can group heal. See if that does something. Wow, that did nothing. Okay. It's on one target. What is it made out of? Did electricity do good? Oh, find work on it. This is going to hurt. Okay, I thought it did nothing because it didn't do any damage to it, but it actually did injure it. Oh, or not injure it, it found it, so it's not able to attack us right now. One target. the end like I'm sure just I gather at this point I think the others can take him out meaning Reniel I think Reniel can take him out here <laughs> nice and he leveled up ooh Sunny's so close to leveling up let's see what the innkeeper has to say the woman looks like the very picture of innocence marvelous you're back there was a demon in the jar next to the bed you got rid of it, right? I can finally open my business. Sunny, wait. We would have appreciated knowing about the demon beforehand. I totally understand, but when I mentioned it to other adventurers, they ran away. I thought I should play it safe. <sighs> Here's your reward. Ooh, casino tokens. Gamble away at the casino, and don't worry. I'll give you a discount if you intend to peruse my inn. It still only has one bed. <laughs> sure Vera doesn't mind that detail. All right, let's see what's upstairs. The music is loud. The spirits are high. I'm in my element. This casino is awesome. There are a lot of people here. Lots of bunny girls. I know we should look for Valentine, but surely a trip to the token exchange counter won't hurt, right? You can play a variety of mini Ooh, mini games in a Dreamland casino. <laughs> I totally forgot the name of this game. It's like there's like a pattern. There's like you like when it's played not digitally. It's a wooden board. There's like columns with holes, and there's like I don't know ten holes in each column, and at the end of it. There's like a pattern. So I think usually you play it with two people, but digitally you don't need a second person. So one person puts like four beads on one end, but only they see it. And then you have to guess the color by like filling in the holes in the columns 
I'm describing it poorly. I forgot what it's called. But you're like trying to figure out the code and the person will be like, okay, three of your marbles are in the right space. And you have to kind of figure out like which one is correct as you keep testing out colors. Anyhow, there's another game that has that as a mini game and you can make a lot of money from it. And I made like most of my money off of that game because you can just play it indefinitely and make lots of money off of it. All right, but here you can play a variety of mini games in the Dreamland Casino. If you're not sure about the rules, the people in charge of the game will be happy to explain them. Speak to the pianist to change the music in the casino or turn off the music. This will reset once you leave the map. Over there, a man with long black hair in the VIP area. Let's see, what music do we have? I accept requests. Fancy a new tune in here? Ooh, do you have jazz? What's smoking? Ooh. Ooh, this is classy. <laughs> oh, I like this too. They're all kind of jazzy. I really like jazz, so I'm happy. <laughs> Just like kind of big band style. Some say that our slot machines are rigged, but that's because they don't know how they really work. How do they work? Valid combinations start from the leftmost reel. Let me give you an example. Is that panties or a mask? Panties, star, 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 star. Because of the leftmost symbol, this is not a valid combination. Star, star, panty, panties. This one is a three in a row. Oh, it has to start from the left side. I see. Our uniform is the same, our colored contacts are the same, even the wigs are the same. Oh dear, I have noticed a distinct lack of flair in the bunny girl's uniform. Bunny girl uniforms. I'm looking for something to subtly spruce up my looks. Care to help me out? I'll see what I can do. Hmm. I guess I'll find something eventually. How much of a power move would it be if I wore one of those bunny suits inside here? I'd probably get escorted off the premises. Did you win? Why are you jumping? Crappy, crappy, crap slot machine! It ain't all my tokens! Hey there! People tell me I have a gift. I can tell the mood of the slots. Come on, ask away. They grow up so fast. Number one is feeling okay. Machine two is feeling sad. And number three is feeling sad. I'm not sure if okay is the best, but we'll see. Oh, our VIP slots. Number one is feeling fantastic. Machine two is feeling okay. Number three is feeling great. I think fantastic is better than great. Machine one. Well then, I assume. Halt, show me your VIP pass. Oh, we don't have one. Then get one. How much is it? 3,000 tokens. Oh, we will be right back. 3,000 tokens. We could try to win the tokens. A slot machine is like a lady after all. What? I swear, slot machines have moves. Ask the bunny girls if you don't believe me. Couldn't you charm the bouncer? Here's the problem. I can usually sense someone's preferences by simply being in the presence. Not for him. Huh? He is keeping me out. He is intentionally locking away his deepest desires. So charming him would take a lot of effort. More or less than winning and exchanging the past for tokens? I cannot tell. If we want to discover what makes him hot and bothered, we should probably ask around. How are you going to ask strangers what the bouncer's kinks are? Do you know what a kink is? <laughs> I'm a bit surprised, actually. I have my ways, don't worry. Just 
The fair maiden is aware of what to keep so. This is the Wheel of Fortune. One spin costs 50 tokens. Do you want to play? Let me figure out what else there is first. Hi there, how can I help you? Ooh, what items are you trading for? Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> a potion that can... I wonder if we can use this on the bouncer. <laughs> and no, it's still not a love potion. Feels strange. Energizing candy. Huh. Oh, already a big pass. Sword attacks become water? Perennial shield can convert and come in water damage into... Ooh, that's pretty cool. Dynamite. Instead of rocks, Sunny can throw dynamite. Watch out, sometimes it's faulty. <laughs> An enchanted necklace that can charm enemies foolish enough to attack their own. He's so bad. A pin that gives the wearer the chance to restore MP when they deal physical damage. Chandu Jewel gives the wearer a chance to negate all damage. Rose tinted glasses <laughs> give you bunny vision. Use the guild house to view a special. Oh my god, I want that. This curious artifact allows Vera to re relive her memory. Oh my god. I want that so bad too. Elixir of Youth. The fable cook options such a grant. Eternal youth. What? Okay, I want all of these, but also why <laughs> elixir of youth? I hope it's easy to make tokens, because oh my god, I want like so many of those items. What what what? By answering one simple question about me, you can change the odds of the heartbreaker slot machine. Amazing! And it only costs 50 tokens. Wanna play? You currently have 300. 300, 300. You have 300 tokens. <laughs> Tell me more about it. Are you a heartbreaker? Find out with our special slot machine. Answer a question about the clown to increase or decrease your odds at winning, then let fate decide. Okay, is there any strategy to this? Hmm. The questions and available answers change every time you play. The clown and the dancer like different things, so take it into consideration when picking your answers. Good luck and try not to break their hearts. Who's the dancer? Oops. What did I just click to get shift? What did I just click to get the dialogue? I could have used that at the graveyard when I accidentally skipped the dialogue. Huh. Answer one simple question about me to increase the odds of the Heartbreaker Relay. Okay, so when I'm talking to someone, I hit shift and it gives me this. Somehow I doubt it will show me. Yeah, well, what happened after the graveyard? Huh. Okay, well, now I know for next time. So shift while I'm talking to someone good news. Answer one simple question about me to increase the odds of the Heartbreaker Roulette. What do you say? Fancy a play? It costs 20 tokens. You currently have 300 tokens. Okay, so the dancer and the clown like different things. I I am gonna get a piece of paper. <laughs> Excuse me one moment. I think I want tokens, I wanna to buy those items, it's worth writing it down. to get. Okay, so this is the dancer. Hold on, let me tear out a piece of paper from a book that does not have terrible paper. There we go. Uh, I hope I don't mess up the binding. It's just a notebook, but it doesn't have like the it's perforated when it has like the dots to tear along. It did not have that that we're ready. Okay, let's play. This is the dancer. What kind of first impression do I want to give as a dancer? All right. Let's see if you've got me figured out. 
was not polite. Okay, so let's see. Dancer. That doesn't necessarily mean that the clown needs polite. You don't seem to be a match. You broke my heart. Do you want to try again? 20 tokens? Sure. What makes me feel the most loved? A surprise gift? A kiss on my hair? A handmade tie? A kiss on the hair? Yes. Kiss on hair is a yes. Oh wow, we get 50 tokens for getting it right. Oh, I think I'm in love. You also won 50 tokens. Congratulations! Do you want to try again? It costs 20 tokens. We currently have 310 tokens. Let's play. What's my dream date night? A relaxing massage, and pillows, a candlelit homemade dinner, scavenger hunt under the moonlight. That one's just so bizarre. I want to click it. Scavenger hunt. Nice. Okay. Scavenger hunt under moonlight. I am taking notes because I want to win. Yes, it's pretty good. What kind of first impression do I want to give? Okay. Well, polite's not good anymore. Uh, fun, flirty, intriguing. Is it dancer? Flirty? Oh, wow. I got it. Yay. You want to try again? Yes, I think I have a decent job guessing for dancing. Are you a heartbreaker? I will take it as a compliment. You tell me. More like a heart throb. Nice. Not enough she likes the heart throb one. Let's play again. What kind of first impression do I want to give? Spirits persuasive. <laughs> All right. What's my dream date night? So they like the scavenger hunt. A rainy walk in the royal garden with a candlelit home guided tour of the war museum. I don't know, it seems kind of related to the scavenger hunt. Oh, okay, so not the tour of war. Are you a heartbreaker? She liked that last time. Yes, play again. What should a healthy relationship provide? Economic stability, fun, safety. Safety. Nice. She likes that. One. Yes, play again. Are you a heartbreaker? Ah. Uh, Heartbreaker can't help it. She doesn't like that one. Okay. You want to try again? Yes. What kind of first impression do I want to give? Polite was not one of them. It was persuasive. Persuasive was one. What's my dream date night? A raunchy night in the tavern. Skinny dipping under, okay, not the museum. Skinny dipping under the moonlight? Nice. Adding that to the list. Skinny dipping under moonlight. Interesting, the scavenger hunt was also <laughs> under the moonlight. I want to try the slot machines just to see if they're faster. Tell me about the slot machines. Tell me. Talk to me. Oh God, girl. girl, she's ignoring me. <laughs> hey there. People tell me how to get. Okay, we can't go to the VIP section yet. So number one's okay. Would that be this row? Ten slot machines. So, fun fact. I was visiting 
family out of town recently, and apparently my great aunts like going to the casino on a regular basis. I don't even think they make that much money. There's just like, there's a point system, so just spending money there, you get points, and you can use the points for like restaurants and shopping at the casino area or whatever. So apparently my great aunts, I think once a month, they go to the casino just to like, splurge and have fun and then they'll treat like my cousins and younger people in the family to like dinner and I think they'll even spend the night there sometimes for special occasions there's like a hotel so anyhow we were visiting family my great aunt was telling me how the slot machines worked and, like I kind of got it but there's, there's a lot to keep track of fortunately this one looks a lot simpler than the ones that she plays all right so Bet with the up key, spin with the down key. Shoot, how do I... I don't want to spin, I want to... Wait, hold on, cancel. I feel like I was betting a lot more money than I wanted to. Oh, I could just spin yes. Okay, showing me my tokens on the left, the bet is on the side. Okay. Gold, seven, seven. That's too bad. You want to play again? Sure. Okay, let's just put the money this time. I'm better off doing the quiz one. I said I was feeling okay. I feel like I should win soon. Okay, watch when I bet 10, that's when it's gonna give me something. Okay, when you say the machine's feeling okay, what does that mean? Three's feeling fantastic. Okay, fine. Let's try the fantastic one then. How much can I bet? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yes. Okay, I guess there's a spin option, but you can also just hit down here. So what does a fantastic mm -hmm. machine look like? How much do I need to bet? The more I bet, the more rows it looks at to potentially give me money. Congratulations, you won one token. Okay, so I bet three. It's looking at three columns, but only one of the columns, this treasure chest one, had enough to give me... Oh, I see, and up here, three treasure chests equals one token. Interesting, but if we get sevens, we get... safe for playing this one because I'm only betting like three coins at a time. <laughs> when I went to the casino with my great aunt like the day before, so like it was me, my dad, and my brother who traveled out to visit, and the day before I walk in and like the computer room or study or whatever at my aunt's house and she's just showing my dad like YouTube videos on slot machines like like, I guess there's this guy whose, like, whole YouTube channel is him going to different slot machines, showing you how it works, showing what money he had at the beginning versus the end, just to kind of give you an idea of, like, how long you really need to sit at the machines to make a profit, but also when you need to realize to just walk away. With something like this, I'm not losing too much. And I feel like if I sit here long enough... See, like that, I got 10 tokens. I feel like it's worth mm -hmm. sitting here for a while because we know this is the fantastic machine. I should have paid attention to it. See, there we go. That's what I wanted, the 100. Actually, now that I got it, I feel like I should walk away. <laughs> well, let's see, is it still fantastic? All right, number three is still fantastic. We'll come back to it because I feel like 
I feel like I was just making more here. Should have kept track of what I had. Okay. I think I'm gonna play around at the casino a little longer than round. Let's just. Well, okay. How about I do the couple of things I wanted to do and then wrap up in the casino? I wanted to talk to the. I don't think I have anything for you, but you're lit up here like I do. Okay, just a reminder. Okay, let's. I want to go to. Where did I want to go? There was somewhere I wanted to go. I need to remember. Oh, to Dana. I want to check in on the person we sent to Dana. That is in Rosedale. Florel, sooner than later we can go there. Oh, and because Florel's quarantine's being lifted soon, I think the breeding grounds are on the way to Florel. In which case, we'll just have the Royal Mines, South Hills, and the Emerald Maze left for the stones. Okay, where's the new person? Where's the new person? Don't forget to send lost people my way. I want to share the corner of paradise I created. That's so sweet. So warm. Huh? Oh, I think that's him. Rosedale is wonderful. Thank you. Aww. I just like checking in on the people we send here. I forgot what your deal was. Oh, yeah. She's like a demon and fire demon or something and likes the cold. Okay, the stout. Okay. Oh, this is like a little pond, indoor pond. It's classy. Okay. For anyone watching this recording, just a heads up, I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the time at the casino because I want those items so bad. Let's play. Are you a heartbreaker? More like a heartthrob, you know that one. See, this one's nice because once you know the answer, like it's so easy, you just you give the answer, you get 50 tokens. Granted, you could get like 100 tokens on one spin of the machine, but it's not all spins. What makes me feel the most loved? She likes the kiss on her hair. If she didn't like, I can't help it. Maybe you tell me. Yes, she likes that one. You tell me. Adding it to the list. Oh, I just realized I spend 20 tokens, I make 50. I'm really getting 30 each turn. Still pretty good. What kind of first impression do I want to give? Most persuasive one? I don't think we've chosen that one yet. I don't think we've chosen any of these yet. Oh no, it was persuasive. Wait, what? Persuasive? Oh, uh, maybe persuasive was an answer for another one. Persuasive. Okay, I think she said impression. Persuasive, so. Perception. What kind of percep uh, impression do I want to give persuasive is a no-no. I think another one she liked persuasive. I'll have to fix my notes. Are you a heartbreaker? More like a heartthrob? Dude, what? Wait, what? She liked that last time. Is she changing her answers on me? Dude, what the frick? No. Are you changing the answers? What? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Bouncing one single question about me, you can change the odds of heartbreak slot machine. Say, 
Economic stability. There's a no for the clown. Okay, no. Let me talk to her again. Most loved. I swear she liked more like a heartthrob last time. Are you a heartbreaker? More like a heartthrob. Okay, now it works. Maybe I clicked the wrong one last time. What's my dream date? She liked both of these, the under the moonlight one. Dude! Oh! Okay, maybe if there are two of the same, like, two correct ones, they're, like, one's more correct than the other. Shoot, I should have paid attention to which one that was. I don't know if that was skinny, did it? Shoot! Uh, okay, so some of these are more correct than others. And I'm pretty sure economics do is not one of them. So safety is definitely a answer, but fun could be one. Let's see if it's safety. Yes, okay, safety. I'm gonna put a star next to that, so safety is like the best one it seems. Okay. What kind of first impression do I want to give? The light is not one of them. Intriguing or fun? Okay, let me erase one of my notes. Okay, is this intriguing or fun? I think I remember that one. Whatever, now it's on the list. Intriguing. What kind of first impression do I want to give? Flirty, fun, pushy. Flirty is one of them. Dream date. Okay. I think I did skinny dipping. Maybe scavenger hunt is more correct? Cool. Let's see. This one is scavenger hunt. Yes, okay. So scavenger hunt, she prefers that to skinny dipping. Are you a heartbreaker? You tell me it is what you say. Dream date is going to be a moonlight one. The one in doubt, moonlight. Yes. Healthy relationship should have. Chose economic stability with the clown, though. I feel like I was wrong, so maybe she's okay with that one. But let's see. Above the NTC. Oh no, I'm curious. Would she want to do Oh, okay. So safety is preferred. But I'll put next to safety. Economic stability is also one she likes them. And she preferred that to love and intimacy. So under clown I'm gonna put love intimacy question mark. I'm making money. Are you a heartbreaker? She liked you tell me. Ah, oh, she wouldn't want to want to be other. Should have paid attention to what the other said. I want to see what happens here. Are you a heartbreaker? 
she likes you tell me. I haven't tried the other ones yet. I am proud of it. Ooh, I am proud of it as a girl. Fun growth reassurance. Shoot, we haven't done anything. She likes the kiss on her hair. Safety, economic stability. I think it's going to be intimacy. Relationship. Intimacy or safety? We're going to do intimacy. Yes. Intimacy. Okay. Dream date night, not the moonlight. Uh, night of the Same for that slot machine? No. Yeah. Girl. Thank you. Oh, now two is fantastic. Wait, what about the ten ones? Aw, oh, man. Okay. Two is feeling fantastic. Are these the only games? Oh, wait, we haven't done this game yet. This is the Wheel of Fortune, one spin cost 50. Is it just completely random? How does it work? It's just completely random? Do I do anything? Okay, so it's just a completely random wheel. I got 150. Did I spend 50? Huh. 
Interesting. I haven't spoken to this person. Oh dear, is he okay? <laughs> he saw four sevens in a row with the slot machine, but... The left reel wasn't a seven. So, combinations of the slot machine only count from the leftmost reel. Good to know. Oh, so he didn't get the first seven he needed. Interesting. So there are one, two, three games up here. I was hoping there'd be more games available. I was hoping there'd also be... Well, I guess there is strategy with the quiz one, but I was hoping there'd be a little more strategy. Let's see. Talk to me. It was number two, right? Oh my god. Number two is fantastic. Alright, just switch things up. Go, 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 go. go. Man, if I got all sevens, that'd be awesome. Okay, we'll see. We're starting with 978. Just want to see how things go. Man, see, the swords. If I had gotten that first sword, I would have gotten all swords. Hey. Gold, gold. Not bad. Ten. Ooh, diamonds. I got two tokens. <laughs> she said the machine's feeling fantastic, so it's gotta pay out like pretty decently soon. For this and the Wheel of Fortune, it's Reniel and Sunny, <laughs> like, blaring on the side. Mm. Or like, the hype men as Varus gambling. <laughs> Yo, if I had gotten one more of the stars, I would have gotten 1,000. I feel like it's worth going further. We had 978, now we got 1055 coins, tokens. I think it's worth going a little longer. Oh, nice. I wonder how long a machine stays fantastic, according to the bunny girl. I'm probably going to get a bunch of duds in a row now because I got two decent payouts. But... two sevens in a row, but for all of these we need at least three in a row. Ah, so close. Mm. Mm. One more good payout. After a few more rolls, I'll talk to the bunny girl just to see if it still feels fantastic. Alright, if I hit 1200, then I'll go back to the bunny girl. Although that would be quite a few rolls before I get to 1200. Make it 1300. If I reach 1300, I'll go back to Bunny Girl. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll take a break there. <laughs> okay, 
let's see. Oh god, some of those items are ridiculously expensive, though. I totally forgot I can buy tokens. One token. Oh god, that's a lot. One token is ten gold. I'm better off just making it. No, 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 no. Come on, man. Trade tokens. Oh, we still need to save up for. Oh, interesting. This is for enemies, though. I don't think that's for the bouncer. I think we need the VIP pass for the bouncer. Let me double check. Show me VIP pass. Okay. So I guess at the very least we need the VIP pass, but oh my god, I want these other items. Okay, the dynamite's just really funny. That one sounds really useful. And I really want the special scene. And then I'm guessing this unlocks gallery. So there's, there were so many gallery slots that are still like not unlocked. I thought, I'm like, wow, I am barely made any progress through this game. But I think some of them, they must be like bonus gallery items that you can unlock with this item. I will show you when I wrap up later that there's quite a few gallery slots that have not been opened. Hits. Oh, come on. Dude, come on. Does it matter how long it's rolling first? Because the first time I didn't realize the hit thing and I just let it keep rolling. Oh, come on. I'm better off doing the quiz one. Let's -a play. I think she likes the you tell me. Yes, she did like you tell me. Just to remember, casualties are unavoidable. What do you say? Let's see if any of those were better. Casualties, what do you say? Okay, no, she still prefers this one. Nice. Dream date. She prefers scavenger hunt. Okay. I am hungry. I still want to keep playing because, oh my god, I need so many tokens. I'm just going to grab some food. I'll be back in one minute. Okay, I grabbed a bunch of crackers. I might hear some crunching. She likes a kiss on my hair. Um, where are my notes for that one? Kiss on hair. Okay, so we'll consider handmade card, hug on back, but we'll start kiss on hair. So, yes to flirty. Keep in mind, persuasive and fun are options, but let's see if flirty is more. Persuasive fun. Okay, so persuasive or fun are stronger than flirty. Hold on. Persuasive, fun, I'm gonna add one of those is stronger than flirty. She likes you too. 
Oh, shoot. I didn't pay attention to the others because I thought that was it. So there is one that's stronger than you tell me. <laughs> Oops. She doesn't like can't help it. Shoot, I didn't pay attention. I thought that was it. Let's see. She likes you tell me, but I feel like I did that last time. She didn't take it. What do you say? Oh, she likes that better than you tell me. What do you say is better? More like a heart throb, I think, is her most preferred one. Let's see. More like a heart throb. Yes, that is her most preferred one. So. More like a heart throb is the ultimate one. I'm glad I'm using an erasable pen so I can reorder things. Okay. Had a first impression. Do I want flirty, persuasive, pushy? Persuasive might be stronger because we got flirty wrong last time. Persuasive. Oops. No, it wasn't persuasive. Huh, okay. So I think next time if we see fun, I think fun is a stronger one. Most love. Uh, handmade card. Oh, she doesn't like it. Just less interesting than others. A heartbreaker. Okay, more like a heartthrob, I think, is still the strongest one. Yes. Healthy relationship, safety, growth, or love. Let's see. Safety. I'm pretty sure safety. Growth and love. Oh, okay. Growth or love are stronger than that one. Oh, let me reorganize that line. So she likes safety. She likes economic stability. But either growth or love are stronger. I'm going to say love. Is it love? Yeah. I suspect love is the strongest one for that category. Dream night, moonlight. Oh, whoops. Didn't pay attention to the other two because I thought that was it. Healthy relationship. Should have. She likes safety and economic stability. Oh, let's figure out which one's more important for her. Okay, economic stability, I'm assuming, is more important. And I think love being the strongest one. Dream date night, not the war museum. Comedy night or the royal garden? Let's see. Oh, to skinny dipping. But Royal Gardens might trump that. We'll have to figure it out. Feel most loved. A kiss on the hair versus a kiss versus a lady. Okay, let's do it. Kind of first impression do I give? Do I want to give? Experienced? 
flirty, or fun. I think it might be fun. I think. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I think this category we might have potentially gotten now fun as opposed to flirty, although both are correct. The heartbreaker. More like a heartthrob. What do you say? You tell me. I think for each category there's three. Co oh. Okay, no, there's a fourth one for there. Interesting. There's another one she would have preferred to you tell me. Have to pay attention to that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So maybe there's like three to four answers that are correct for each category, but some are more correct. Dream Night, Scavenger Hunt. Yeah, she doesn't like the raunchy one or the one. Okay, maybe she does like the raunchy one. She doesn't like that one. What do you say? Versus I'll take it as a compliment. Okay. She would prefer I take that as a compliment over what do you say? Huh. I forgot if she liked the card. Shoot. Maybe a surprise gift? No. Surprise gift. Heartbreaker. She liked this one. I'll take that as a compliment. What? What do you say was stronger than I'll take that as a compliment? Hey. I keep thinking I have the right order of like which ones are more correct, but I'm narrowing it down. I'm so close. She likes economic stability. Let's see. If love is there. I don't think I know yet if growth is stronger. So let's see if growth is a stronger one. Yes, okay, growth. So now I don't know if growth or love is strongest, but those are the two stronger ones for that category. The most loved. Not a fan of surprise gifts. A hug from the back. Does she like a hug from the back? So I think she likes the card and the gift. I think one's stronger than the other. I still haven't figured it out. The most loved. A surprise gift or a handmade card versus just a regular hug. Let's see, a handmade card? Nope. Um, maybe a hug, I don't know. Okay, crazy, fun, polite. I don't think crazy's there at all. Fun. I believe it's fun. Yes. The most loved. Shoot. I think it's a gift over a card. Or a hug. It's either the hug or the gift. Okay, I think it's hug. I think it's a kiss on the hair, followed by a hug from the back, a gift, and a card. We'll test that out. She liked the tavern one last time, maybe more so than a dinner. Let's see. First impression, pushy, fun, intriguing. Uh, fun, I believe. Oh, a 
intriguing is higher than fun. Okay. Intriguing is actually the higher one. And yet again, I am grateful I have an erasable pen for these. Take that as a compliment. Versus what do you say? Oh, I think what do you say is stronger. Please be right. Please tell me my notes are right. Let's play Dream Night. Yes. a little more, then we'll go to the cloud. First impression. I think intriguing is the highest one. Yes. Okay, let's try the clown because we make more money with him. Let me just grab a cracker real quick. Alrighty. time I'm gonna do more casino stuff because I really want let's see trade tokens perhaps god okay I think for the sake of the stream I think I'll wrap up here and I think on my own time I'm just gonna keep playing in the casino because I want these items so bad <laughs> all right just since you guys know it's only the few games I've more or less got my list straightened out for her preferred order and then we know that his preferred order is just the opposite of hers and we got the slot machines and the roulette it's just completely random no strategy at all so there's not much else to show i think i'll wrap up here and on my own time make more tokens and i did want to show why i really want the item that's going to unlock gallery because if you look here, there's so many. Hold on, let me go. Oh my god, to the top. There we go. So there are these two. Where I'm like, it was so far in the beginning of the game. I don't think I missed anything. And then down here, I think you could have either chosen Reniel or Sunny to do the interrogation. So maybe the little chibi Sunny would have been like CG11. But then there are so many, like I think I've made decent progress through the game, but there's at least 33 to unlock, and last time I unlocked 13 for the beach scene in the last stream, and I feel like I'm more than halfway, so I'm pretty sure some of these only get unlocked from that item in the casino, which is why, on my own time, I'm going to make a lot more tokens, but <laughs> for the sake of the stream, I'll wrap up here for now. Alrighty. This was fun, and hopefully next time I'll have enough tokens that we can just get straight to the story. And I'll catch you guys next time.